to tell you the truth, to me there was only ever two tough guys. You have the Ballymore Bruiser, who's more, more of a street fighter, he can handle himself. And you were a trained, professional, legit martial artist. So a lot of them probably wouldn't say anything to you in case, but you wouldn't have acted that. I've seen you up and down the road where people have antagonized you in bars and nightclubs and you haven't reacted. You no, know? no, I, like, it's, it's not in my nature to be aggressive and I never, I do everything in my part not to be aggressive. Um, like if a situation, I like to think martial arts, martial arts, Taekwondo in particular, teaches you a great deal of self-control you think what you're learning is could potentially be lethal. You know, you never yeah. you never want to pull that trigger. You know, because you know the consequences could be so. Like getting into scraps, especially over ego. Most fights are always ego, yeah. and and there and again going back to wrestling, the the wrestling business, and again anyone who is a performer in the wrestling business, including myself, when you're involved in it, sometimes. The ego takes over it's a very selfish business you know it's all about yourself yeah no i agree completely what you're saying to talk about kid cash not ragging on kid cash he was great when he was here he yeah, sold tickets cool. um but he he could go tough and if someone annoyed him or pissed him off in the ring <laughs> he'd lay it in but i remember one night there was one of the guys in the ring and I can see where they came from. I was going to put the this belt here, the Zero Gravity on Kid Cash at the start of the tour and take it off the end of the tour. Two separate DVD mm -hmm. tapings. But he didn't want to lose the belt back to a particular guy. Fair enough. I could see his point why he didn't. So I didn't do the title change. So the champion at the time, Bingo Balance, he went in there and he roughed off Bingo pretty bad. Black eyes and rah, 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 took it out and I'm like, you know? And Bingo wasn't going to do anything. Nice guy, pretty soft. Well, soft in the point of view, he was not tough, as in hmm. he can fight. And I always remember pulling Kid Cash into a room and saying, that was disgraceful. You shouldn't be doing that. Bad carry on. But I was prepared. I can't fight now, but I was prepared to take a beating from Kid Cash. And I was fully prepared. I thought he was going to give me a punch. But he held himself. Told his part. I knew about him. Yeah, if he wanted, he could have just <laughs> knocked me out. But I think he was smart enough to know he still had a whole week of paydays to come. But I always remember he held himself very well. And so said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he took me, giving out to him, and he went down with the rest of his day. Like, And there is a mental strength yeah. carrying yourself like that. Yeah, it's... Fair play to him. Uh, you know, it's well, not a certain night when you beat up bingo, you should have done that. Like, there's a certain professionalism <laughs> there, yeah. yeah. But you like uh, the promoters kind of the, at the end of the day is the boss, you know. And if your boss says something, sometimes even if you don't agree with it, you just have to be, Yes, sir, I'll get on yeah. and do my job. That's the way it works. And with like a I'm with Kid Cash, um, he did put anyone that asked him to put over, he put them over. Mm. He just didn't want to drop that particular belt back to this guy. Now, I don't know if it was a case of he didn't want to um, lose the belt, or he, I know the guy who he was going to drop the belt to was much smaller than him. I wasn't his mind, his talent. So I can understand where he was coming from, but he was fine. He still went out and put your other guy over, and everybody else on the tour yourself include that you had to, yeah. which is what you want in an international guy. Um.